good morning. Well, it's just gone lunchtime. Um, here's the giant baby. Six months old, aren't you? Um, I'm going to show you all the stuff I got from the charity shop and how much it costs because it's cray cray. One, two, three, four sleeping bags for babies. 30p. And uh, my friends have just had twins. So they need a lot of sleeping bags. Um, 30p. Don't go wrong. The pink jumper that I was unpicking in the last vlog. This fabulous green Bowden jumper for Dorothy. Zara jumper for Dorothy. A little pale green, it's fab. And then what's this one? This is Mango. Another jumper for Dorothy. The coolest t-shirt, she loved this. Got cars. <laughs> A little summery dress. It's like really thin blue and white stripes. A denim dress for Doff. With dots on, of course. And I loved this, this was a bargain. Beautiful next dress. She went, I like that one with flowers on. I was like, right, you can have it. White linen shirt for Daniel. This nice rusty sort of, I can see it in the light, kind of a rusty orange jumper for Dan. And finally, this shirt. Um, it was in the men's section, but it's definitely for women. Um, it's like a kind of linen look um, shirt, but I like it because it covers my butt and it's nice and thin and flowy and it's cool. And it was brand new with the tags on. Uh oh, just about to put my knickers on and the Amazon man came. Um, I was holding off um, drying my hair until he uh, got here, but uh, I couldn't. I couldn't wait any longer. It was just gonna. I'm gonna have to wet it all again if you didn't. Re um, I've ordered some new hair mousse, which I will try out in this vlog. Um, it's uh, very, very voluminous, supposedly. Is that? Oh, this is it. I ordered two of these. Hello. Or they accidentally sent me two. There it is, this colour wow. Extra Hello. large bombshell volumizer. Oh, shiny. Do you want it? There you go. And then some hair poofy things for these updos next week. Um that's interesting. They've sent me two of these blushes. Oh, did I order two colours? Ah, oh, I ordered two colours. There we go. Oh, Bernie, you need your bum changing and and some milk. And a cute outfit. You're, oh, dear. You're very grumpy today. There, yeah, look. There you are. Um, saw this um hack, if you like, on TikTok, and it was to squeeze dummy, squeeze a dummy in some water, and it fills the inside of the dummy up with water. Put it in the freezer. She loved it. Like she was silent for ten minutes, sucking away. Um, I don't know what I thought would have happened, but. She spat a dummy out and it was empty. She drank all the water, obviously because it melted. Like, I don't know why my brain didn't think that it would do that, but yeah, you loved it, didn't you? Little frozen treat. Oh, I've got rosy cheeks, haven't you? Hi, Daddy. What are you talking about? 
just talking about all my oh I never said how much my haul was all those clothes 13 pound plus two toys for dot what, what did I oh yeah I ordered this which is like a little kit for doing um hair it's a pot of wax a wax stick and then like some refining accessories to um make the hair look nice and neat what are you looking at that's so interesting over there I'm supposed to be showing the audience your beautiful little face. Mm. Water. 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 Have you run out? Can you sit straight. Is that a thing for three-year-olds? Three-year-olds. No, four years. Four-year-olds. Goodness me. Oh. Sounds. It's Dorothy's script in the comb. Uh, I just love it. Do you? Yeah. I just want to make some music with it. Do you? Yeah. So what are you going to play in the orchestra, the comb? Someone's yeah. going to play it. But I am. So what, is it like country music? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Right. See about this. Ow. I'm gonna make some music. This is my music of it. Mm. Hey. Does it have a toothbrush or thing? <laughs> it's not for your deed, it's for your hair. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Mm. I turn on my music page. Which music show I play? Oh. Ah. Ha. Outer space. <laughs> Do you like outer space? Yes, do I do. Do you find it interesting? Um. Cute stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to be quick. There. Mm. One. I don't want a bubble. Come on. Remember what I told you? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> I don't know. We've got to practice having your hair up for school, haven't we? I don't like having my hair up. I know, but you've got to have your hair up so you don't want to get bugs in your hair, <laughs> do we? Remember, remember what I said? Yeah. About bugs in your hair. Yeah. Gross. Isn't it? But I like having bugs. Ew, no, not crawly little bugs you don't. But I do. Really? Ugh. Well, you can't live here if you've got crawly bugs in your hair. I'm not. Because I don't want crawly bugs in my house. Hey, that's my house. <laughs> <clears throat> Get in there, aren't you, bird? Ow! Sorry, you keep wiggling. <laughs> Kept still, it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Let me look now. Ow! You're nearly done. <laughs> Are you, haven't you put some water in it? Mm hmm. I need some more. More water? Yeah. <laughs> water. I got That's book. gonna fall out. I got water whackers. <laughs> I like water whackers. I think you're gonna have to have your fringe pulled down. No! Watch. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think it's gonna stay. I can't hear. Well, you see, it's falling down so easily. Stop. I just want it. Are you gonna grow your fringe out or do you want to have a fringe? <laughs> <laughs> Daddy. I think you look cute with a fringe, don't you, Daddy? Oh, yeah. I don't think so. What do you like? Just look at my eyes. They just go round. Yeah. Do you like your hair now? 
Uh, not yet. Not yet. I think I think I do. I do it. I. Can we put your new outfit on that we got yesterday? Oh wow! Oh, was Can it I cold? See? Was it cold? Was it cold? That one that you said you liked. Oh uh, yeah, tomorrow we can. Well, we're going out today. <laughs> Don't you gonna push me off? <laughs> Oh, God, my hair is so good. Right, you've got to put this on your hair wet, oh. dry. Not you, me. You ready? Oh, dear. Oh. <gasps> wow. <gasps> 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 okay, Scrunch it in. I've put loads on because I've got really fine hair. Did you notice I cut my own hair the other day? You told me. Yeah. But you, you tell? I couldn't really know, no, to be honest. It's a man. Hey? You're a man, aren't you? Right, where's my hairbrush? <coughs> and my hair dryer. I don't want to. It's not for you, it's for me. My hair dryer's broken again. Right, let's see what happens. Thank you. Oh, it's better than it was. Mm, it was yeah. Oh, yeah, it's got a lot more texture to it. I can, like, scrunch it and it's poofy. That's pretty good, actually, isn't it? Look, you see? Yeah. It's good, isn't it? Cool. Cool! I can actually see my haircut that I did on myself now. This is the first time you've done it since? No, I did it the other day. Yeah. In fact, I did it the day I cut it. And I was like, oh, no, this is crap. It look, doesn't look any different. But it's because the mousse I've got at home is so rubbish. What is it? The mousse a boy, because it was in a nice... Aesthetic yeah, bottle. Yeah, the body by... What? I can't even read it. At, by Adam Reed. Adam Reed. Nice bottle, crap product. I don't even smell nice. Yeah. Get it in a bit. I know. I mean, I don't know, it's a bit far to walk, isn't it? I don't mind walking down home from it. Well, I could drop you off. Yeah, and you leave could, you there. couldn't you? Yeah. Well, he's not on until quarter to six, though. She'll be bollocks by then, won't she? This one? Yeah. I think there'd be so much going on, she'd probably be alright. You reckon? Yeah. Bernie wakes up at half past four in the morning without fail. Like, no yeah. matter what we do, no matter what time we put to bed. So it doesn't really make a difference what we do, is it? Oh. Pardon you. So... Yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit, feel a bit gypped, actually, going out of my way to give her a bottle. Just yeah. Just me over. <laughs> I'm just getting fat and pissing nappies. Well, this is what I was thinking. You were overfeeding her, technically, because she doesn't need it. It's not keeping her asleep. It's not benefiting us in any way. It's just making her chunky. Yeah, I'll knock you off. <laughs> I would. Well... While Dan's been in Ireland, I have not done this dream feed. I've just been letting her come into the bed at half past four in the morning with me. But obviously now Dan's back, there's like not as much room for her to be comfy and for us to be comfy. Um, so we tried, well Dan's tried a couple of weeks. You've been doing it now, isn't it? So I think it's been. It's definitely it's this been week. A week. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when he's been coming up to bed at like eleven, ten, eleven o'clock, he's been giving her a dream feed, changing her nappy, giving her a dream feed. Because that is what we did with Dorothy, and it kept her asleep all night. And it worked the first night, didn't it? It worked the first two nights. Did it? Yeah. So I thought we were on to a winner there, but then and the then, third night... No, that's it. So we don't know well, if it's... I think the third night, all we had to do was dumb here, and she went. And then the fourth night, we dumb her, and she went. And then the fifth night, she's like, 
Yeah, mm. I'm just going to take the three bottle and just roll with it. <laughs> but I was like, it's either the light, the sun waking her up, even though she's got a blackout blind, or next door's got an alarm or something, or a dog that is waking her up. Perhaps. I don't know. Well, I think we do it because we've got his window open. She hasn't. What? You're doing what? Anything waking her up. No, because she's got a teenage boy sharing her bedroom wall. Next door. Now, what new name of teenage boy who gets up at this point? You don't know what his job is. He might be a keen fisher. Oh. Or he might be into owl watching. He might be into fishing because he uses a smoke load of weed, don't he? Does he? I, I don't know. Does he? I, I don't think so because I can't smell it. I never smell owl. Yeah, I, I like that. It. That's done a good job, I think. Oh. Well, it looks more wolfy now, doesn't it? no idea what I'm talking about. Um, right, I need to convince that child to put some clothes on. I need to get some deodorant as well. Stop making my favourite deodorant. This is not my favourite deodorant. It's probably to do with the amount of aluminum, aluminium in it. Ugh, I stink. I absolutely stink. I really need to get some decent deodorant. Let's have a laugh at the size of this. That feels empty, I'm not even joking. Is it Timu? No. Timu? Timu? That has not got anything in it. Surely. Oh my god, it's like full to the top. That's how weightless this is. It's coming off, isn't it? Oh, that feels quite good. I need to try this actually, because if it's crap, I can't be putting it on a bride's hair, can I? It had okay reviews. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's okay. Not the best, even though it says it's the best. Not sure if I shared my new bronzer that I've got, but I really like it. It's liquid bronzer off Amazon, and it was only a fiver. Um, now I've only used it three times. Nobody said to me, "Oh my god, your bronzer looks like shit." So I've got this blush to try and I've got two shades because I really couldn't tell on um, the Amazon pictures. I want, yeah, I think this is going to be right. It's like a little poofy applicator. So that's cute. What's this one? This is Rose. Rose and Mystery. And they are lovely shades. A little bit machine to them, but I can't try them now because I've done my makeup before Amazon arrived. But they went out nice. Okay, yote. Right. What are we getting? I want to get a bra. 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 And um, I might pick up some nice bits for Sarah and Jacob. Snacky bits from MS. Wait, you have to see them, eh? Well, I said I'd drop off those maternity tops for her. Oh, right, okay. Um, while she's in the midst of breastfeeding. Is it two weeks now? Three weeks? Three, maybe, yeah. Tiny, honestly. Five pounds and five pound two. So tiny. Look at you. Balanced on the birthday. I made a huge error. Come to M and A to get a new bra without looking at what my actual bra size is. Like when was the last time I bought a bra? Uh, definitely before Dorothy. So we don't know. You're happy. You've got your crunchy bag of crisps to play with. Do not want wired. 
t-shirt bras, non-wired. Hello. No. No, want padding. Please. Can I be bothered to try it on? Probably not. It looks so uncool. I am not happy about it. I hate this. I go through it every few years and I hate it. I hate it. That looks horrifically uncomfortable. I'll have to try it on, aren't I? I'm mortified. No way. Just look at it, I'm guessing. So how's that meant to support you? It doesn't, is the answer. Forty B, forty C, who knows? I am not going to get measured. I'm not being one of those people. No way I am that size. That looks alright. Maybe. Frozen, Dodie. Ready? Don't it? Don't it? Don't it? Oh, we're not liking it today, are we? Oops. Is that nice? Love a frozen donut load. <laughs> Is that nice? Mmm. <laughs> oh, I feel like I've got a cold today. Me? Me. Oh, yeah. I really I do. Am. No, you're all right. Daddy says he reckons he's got a sinus infection. Bernie's okay. coughing. Yeah. Oh, it's, always, it's summer for goodness sake. Think my dinosaur cup. <coughs> Which Richard Rabbit is in would need something to eat. Oh, he's in a dinosaur car, isn't he? Yeah, but it's a car. It's a car. Oh, is it? Yeah. Um, don't know how many of you that watch me and the vlogs are into Disney, like Disney parks. But uh, Disney, their YouTube channel, Disney Parks YouTube channel, released a POV ride through of the new Tiana's Bayou Adventure, which has replaced Splash Mountain um, in Florida. Uh, I don't, I, I have no idea if this interests you, but it. I'm a Disney Park girl, so I'm going to talk about it. Um, Splash Mountain's like one of the what? oldest rides so ever in the Disney Park. I don't think it's an opening day attraction, Coming. but Coming. <coughs> it's um, it's been there forever. No, it hasn't. And it's problematic. Yeah, can I see? Yeah, I'm going to put it in the microwave now. Oh. It's problematic because it's based off um, I, I want a movie to that's it. actually banned. Yeah, I need to warm it up first. Um, oh. Called Song of the South. Oh. I don't know if you've ever heard of it or even oh. ever seen it. Song of the South. Uh, I had it on video and I loved it as a kid. You can't get it anymore. It's not on... Disney Plus, it's not, it's never been on DVD, 
they stopped releasing it on video. I'm guessing in the mid 90s, I don't know. But the reason it's problematic is because it's set in the south of America where slavery was a big a big deal for the white people. They loved a bit of slavery. And the way Disney has portrayed the black community Disney. and the white community is obviously the white people are all rich and they have black people working for them. Which is not factual at all. Um, they show cotton fields and they're like singing cotton gathering songs in it, you know. It's, it's not cool. But it is a good put in. Yeah, I'm just doing it, babe. You're welcome. Um, as a, you know, privileged white kid in the 90s, it was a wonderful, wonderful movie. Cute little animals. Uncle Remus, you know, telling this cute little boy about uh, Br'er Rabbit and Br'er Fox, you know, fabulous, absolutely loved it. Had no idea what slavery was though, so. Um, it's kind of glorifying. Am I still here hungry? I'm making it, Christ woman. It's glorifying, um, a very poor time in history and making it all rainbows and unicorns, do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, it's obviously I am a privileged white person and I don't have a clue really how awful it was. Um, so anyway, <laughs> it, it needed to go. Disney knew it was bad because obviously they've not released the video on film. For years. Here you go. To get rid of the ride is gonna was gonna cost millions, so they pushed it as long <laughs> as they could before finally admitting that they had to do something about it. So they decided to retheme the ride um, to be based around the princess and the frog. Perfect, a black princess. Um New Orleans, you know, it's where it's set, I think. Um, and it's called it Tiana's Bayou Adventure. And it was perfect. Like, such a good idea to retheme it as that. And give this first ever black princess her moment, her own ride. And everyone was so excited, thinking, oh yeah, because it's a log flume ride. Sorry if I missed that. There's this massive 50 foot, I think, drop in it. And the baddie in uh, Prince and the Frog is like a voodoo man, um, Dr. Facilia. I've only watched it a couple of times, but I, so I don't really know. I know the music's good. I know he's got an absolutely wicked song that's going, Are you ready? And it's I think it's called See You on the Other Side. Something like that. Can you imagine that? Like, clink, 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 see you on the other side. Like, that bit of doom and threat and peril. And then dropping 50 foot. He's not in this ride. And what else is ridiculous? The storyline's really poor. Like, I was watching it, I didn't have a clue what was going on. I had to, like, read up about it afterwards. And it's something like you're going to a party that Tiana's organised but it would be fun to shrink you down to the size of a frog briefly and then make you big again to go to the party. And there's like some animals playing jazz and it's so boring, honestly. I'm not going to... You can watch it if you want, like... But I, I am not happy at all. And that's not because, oh, they got rid of Splash Mountain. How can you get rid of a classic? I don't care. It was a pretty boring ride, to be fair. But my God, the animatronics of Tiana look bored on her own ride. 
nothing happens. Like this video is so edited and cut and chopped and cross faded because nothing's happening. And in Splash Mountain, there was always something to look at. Okay, there might be a few dark tunnels here and there. But there was like little houses where all the little critters lived and like a little washing line and little post boxes with the names on and stuff to read and look at and make up a story in your mind or imagine a little critter living in this little house or whatever. There was always something, there was a scene all the time and there was a story. You know, you're watching Br'er Rabbit tease the fox and Br'er, fox and Br'er Bear and then they hatch a plan and you see them catch him and then, oh no, don't throw me in the briar patch. Big splash. Absolutely brilliant. But it's for a problematic film. So of course they had to get rid of it. But they could have done so much more with this ride. I know I'm ranting. But I'm just, I'm so disappointed in the Disney Imagineers. And I'm disappointed for Tiana because she's a great princess, great characters. The animatronics are lovely, they're really good, but there's not enough of them. Like, we'll spend two million on one animatronic, so we can only afford three. Do you know what I mean? Like, they would have been better keeping these old animatronics, which are little critters and animals, dressing them up a bit, maybe giving them a lick of paint, and using them again. So you've got something to look at. Anyway, I've been ranting for seven minutes about this, so... But go watch it. Um... Tiana's Bayou Adventure POV on the Disney Parks YouTube channel. And then if you can be bothered, go and watch a Splash Mountain POV um, writer as well, just so you can compare. You can see how similar they are, but you'll know what I mean. Good morning. Um, I, uh, I'm sat here and I'm debating dyeing my hair. I haven't dyed my hair since... <laughs> July, so nearly 12 months, um, don't know, I've just tried a load of filters to see which one might suit me, and honestly, this is like my favourite colour, so I think I'm going to be dying it, um, I did think about doing ginger, but then like Sam's got ginger, Rosie's ginger, you know, and honestly, I am so red in the face, and I love blusher. Like, I just don't think it's for me. Like, I'd like to try it, but what happened then? We might go into town today, me and you. Yeah, that's you. So beautiful. Um, might go into town today. I've got some wedding hair to do on Saturday, and I haven't got any, like, black death... Uh, hairspray, I call it. It's like proper hairspray. Um, so I need to go and get some more of that. Could go tomorrow, but I feel up for it today. It's, it's a nice sunny day, so well, not sunny, but it's warm. It's not raining. Um, so we might do that. And we might go see our friend Holly. My friend Holly. Um works for a charity called Thread Republic and they've got this beautiful space in the town centre where it's like a sewing workshop and a shop but everything that they sell has been donated to them so everything's quite cheap to buy um, but you can go along, get advice, you can get patterns, they've got machines you can use it's just a lovely, lovely space um, and I'd love to show it you because um, they've worked really hard to make it fabulous. So I would love to show that to you. So we might go and do that if she's open. I'm not sure what time they close. Um, last time we went, it was like half past nine in the morning. So I don't know if they shut at like one or two o'clock or something. But we'll hang the washing out. And then might go into town and have a little wander. <laughs> Blue. Look at your fuzzy peach head. Look at that fuzz. <laughs> um, you had some Weetabix yesterday, didn't you? At the Childminders. And you went... <laughs> like you do for everything. <laughs> I love you. 
Yes, I know. You need to have a nap as well. But she's doing really well sleeping through, actually, aren't you? Last three nights, is it? Last three nights you've slept through? Because she's, like, doing this all the time. Yeah. Gripping things. Um, she pulls a dummy out of her mouth when she's, like, trying to go to sleep. So then she gets annoyed that a dummy's fallen out. Yeah. She gets annoyed a dummy's been pulled out, so she wakes up. So I start swaddling her. And then she sleeps through. It's amazing. Um, she doesn't even, like, wake up at all. Because we have a baby monitor on all night. She doesn't make a sound. She's fast asleep. Um, so, if you're a new mum and your baby's waking up, get them swaddled. Like, yeah, she's six months, but it works, doesn't it? For some reason. I suppose it's like she thinks she's being held. She's being cuddled or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's go do some shopping. It's the same day. <laughs> I know I look completely different. Um, Bernie's been asleep for three hours. <laughs> Nearly three hours. Um, I don't... It's really... Her sleeping is insane. I guess it's like growth spurts or whatever. Um, but I could have been out and come home by now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wake her up because I can guarantee she'll wake up from this three hour nap and then we'll go out and then she'll want to like nap again at four or five o'clock. Danger nap. I uh, decided I want to get myself some nice loungewear, like not tracky bottoms, like pajamas, but nice pajamas. Like all the ones I've got. I like, sorry if there's too much information, like, I've got, like, period stains on them that I can't get out, or dinner that stains that I've slopped down myself, and, like, nobody ever sees them, so it doesn't matter, but I just feel rank putting them on, like, they're clean, you know, but, I'm just sick of feeling like a munter all the time. <laughs> Like, I really am trying to make myself feel better about the way I look and, you know, just, I can't diet. I just, I've not got time or money to diet. So, and like the one bit of joy in my life, other than my two children, is eating. <laughs> I don't want a salad. I don't want chicken breast and vegetables. Like, I want a burger. I want pasta. I want pizza, you know? I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do something because, like, I feel good right now. I've put a little bit of slap on, I've put my hair extensions in, I've got a nice jumper on, it's fine. But, I used to be so glam, so glam. I ain't got time. I ain't got time for that shit. Like, it's taken me two weeks to paint my nails. I go through these phases of having painted nails. No painted nails. Because I ain't got time. Literally don't have time. I've finished washing up. Wake that baby up. And see if I can find some nice Jimmy Jams for myself. Really like the stuff they have in Sainsbury's, but it's all very summery. Like I do want snuggly, cozy, you know. I am literally speechless right now. I've just come to Sally's. Uh, no, I haven't, because it's gone. When did that happen? <laughs> okay, trying Primark. Um, making a rule for myself. I'm not allowed to buy any baggy t-shirts or black dresses or black anything actually. It is really not a good day for me. I can't go upstairs and look at the sleepwear. Here's uh, Holly's little workshop. It's uh, bless you. All right. Ugh, gross. I did go in and say hi, but they're just packing up. So, but over there, I don't know if you can see they're making a 
Pride Month display. They've just sewn up some bunting this morning with all the different uh, sexuality flags. And they're going to put a sign up that says, So, S-E-W, queer. <laughs> Doc's been requesting a book. Ten minutes to bed, Little Mermaid. They don't have it. But I found this. And it's gorgeous. So I'm going to get Dan. This is for Father's Day from Bernie. Oh, back home. That was a bit of a crap trip to town, wasn't it? Um, they don't they don't do professional um hairspray anywhere. But anyway, I'll show you what I did get. Um, they've got a lovely clothing sale at Sainsbury's for kids. So I've got this little sleep suit for Bernie. That was three pounds. Couldn't resist. And then I got these for Dot for holiday. Oh, banana. Little short play suit. And she will love this. Green dots, she'll love that. From TK Maxx, I got one of these headbands, which I've been wanting for ages, actually. It's like a towel one. Oh, Bernie's just screaming. So that it doesn't get any water in your face your hair out, you've out the way when you're doing your makeup. Um, I've got a new detangling hairbrush. That's only four quid. And I've had my big round hairbrush for, it's got to be 15 years, I'm not kidding. So I've got a new one. Um, from New Look, I did get some snuggly trousers. They're just soft pink. I mean, they are, like, I bet these have been on the floor in uh, New Look for a good couple of years. Because they're proper filthy. I'm going to have to wash them, but cuffed ankles and pockets. Didn't have a matching top. And then what did I get from Savers? I got some of that volumizing powder. Because I'm not sure about that one that I got in Amazon in my last vlog. Gruffalo plasters. Um, mini on the go antibacterial wipes if we're going to be like using high chairs and stuff now for Bernie um, four toothbrushes for £1.29 for Dot we normally get those like milk teeth ones and like two quid each for just one so couldn't resist that toothbrushes for me and Dan this is really boring isn't it oh a nail brush because Dorothy She's minging. <laughs> and then I got two cans of Elnet, extra strong and strong. Because I figured at least I'd, it'll do the job, hopefully. But this book, I had a voucher, I had a £5 voucher. Um, got sent it for doing um, a breastfeeding survey for the NHS. They sent me a £5 gift voucher for doing it. So this was uh, 6 99 so I got that from Waterstones. There you go. My dad is fantastic. He's clever, kind and wise. You'll know he's really smiling by the twinkle in his eyes. My dad is a giant. He's at least 12 stories high. He can lift me over mountains and right up to the sky. He'll always stay right by my side and I'll stay by his side too. I thought that was really nice. Right, bath time for Bernie. Bottle bed. Dot's just having some carrots for a snack. Watching a bit of Hey Dougie. Right, I've hidden it in here so that Daddy can't find it. Look. Oh, my dad is fantastic by Roald Dahl. Is that good? Do you want to read it? Yeah. Sit on my knee. You can see it. I'll read it to you first. Read it to me first. Yeah. Nice and loud. Read it out loud. I want to do it quietly. Okay. What does it say?
It's <laughs> funny. Mm. What's the next page say? Do you never watch? But if I'm. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> Is that a good present for Daddy? You can read it to him. <laughs> I won't tell him. I won't tell him secret. Let's hide it back in here. Okay. Good girl. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.